It looks now like Democratic State Attorney General Letitia James will run for governor. The Associated Press is citing three people familiar with her plans. Her campaign only saying she has made a decision, and that decision will be announced in a few days. Well, the woman she will take on in the Democratic primary, if that happens, is Governor Kathy Hochul. She's down to business now about COVID, says the state's taking early steps to make sure there'll be enough vaccine available if and when it's approved for the younger kids. And that could come as early as next week for the 5 to 11-year-olds. Hochul says New York has already ordered extra vaccine. That'll be here as soon as it's approved, and they can start getting the shots immediately. The woman accused of torturing and killing a 93-year-old Syracuse woman in her Skyline apartment appeared before a judge yesterday, 23-year-old Victoria Fett. She was in and out of court in less than five minutes. Her attorney and the assistant DA spoke with the judge and decided to adjourn the case. The state liquor authority has suspended the license of Harry McTony's Irish Pub on Main Street in Cortland. An undercover investigation last week found that on one night of 85 people in the bar, only 10 were of legal drinking age. Well, here's a great opportunity on Saturday for families with special needs children to take part in a trunk or treat. From 11 to 1 Saturday, you can head to the Destiny USA parking lot outside Embassy Suites. You can collect some sweet treats. The event is hosted by David's Refuge, a manliest nonprofit. Focuses on providing resources and support to caregivers of children with special needs. Four more days of early voting left before they shut it down to retool for Tuesday's election day. Polls are open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. today and tomorrow at six locations in Onondaga County. Check with localsyr.com or your local county board of elections for early voting times and locations near you.